A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. In this video, you will learn how to use your device's front and rear cameras in Oracle Apex to take pictures and store them directly in the database. Let's get started. Go to Shared Components. Static Application Files option. Select this option. Download the source code from this video description. Open Camera Integration Folder. Select this file. Click the Create button. The file contains instructions to display a weight spinner while Ajax requests are executing. Now open Products page, page 3 in the Page Designer. Add a button to the page using the following properties. This button will call page 127 that you will create in a subsequent step. This page will activate device's camera to take picture. Set the remaining properties as performed. Clicking this button will call page 127 as set here in the target property. Now let's create this page 127. Click this create page button. Select this blank page option. Type a page number. And enter any name. Select model dialog option this page will appear on top of a normal page. Here I'm creating a new navigation menu entry, under the home menu at runtime. Click the create page button. You can use any title you like. I've set width to 400 and height to 700 for this page. Scroll down to Files URL section under JavaScript. Open Source Code. Camera Integration JavaScript File. Copy and paste this reference code. Under Function and Global Declaration section. Copy and paste this second code. Here we declare some variables for video, canvas, and spinner objects that we will use in later parts of this video. The video and canvas objects represent HTML video and canvas elements. The getElementById method is used to access these elements. The HTML canvas element is used to draw graphics on a web page. Expand pre-rendering node. Right-click after header node. Select create process. This process is an Apex collection, which will be used to temporarily store the pictures you take. Each collection in Apex can include one blob column, here we will use this column to store the binary representation of each picture. Copy and paste this file code. This code creates an empty collection named snapshot every time you access page 127. Create a region using the following attributes. Type must be static content. Open camera HTML text file. In this code, the HTML5 video element enables camera streaming, 
the autoplay attribute used in this tag specifies that the camera will start playing as soon as it is ready. The canvas element is normally used to draw graphics via JavaScript. Set position to content body. Template to standard. Add two text field items as performed. These two page items will receive product name and file name for the captured image. Set template to required floating. Also turn on value required property. These two steps will make these items mandatory. Create second page item. Set properties same as of previous item. Create a buttons region under the dialog footer node. This region will hold two buttons to be created in the next step. Set template to buttons container. Add the following two buttons to the buttons region. This first button, cancel button will take us back to the products page. This second button, take snap button will be used to take the snapshot via a dynamic action, take snap created next. Set position property to below region legacy. Button template to text with icon. By turning on hot property button will be displayed in blue color. Select camera icon for icon property. Set action to defined by dynamic action. Click the save button to save your work. Click the dynamic actions tab. Here we are creating the take snap dynamic action, which executes a JavaScript code to take pictures. Select selection type to button. Button to take snap. Click the show node. For action, select execute JavaScript code. Open take snap JavaScript file. The first line in this code displays a weight spinner through the JavaScript file you uploaded in the initial part of this video. The Apex server process function calls a PL SQL on demand, Ajax callback process named grab picture that we will create later in this video. Add another dynamic action, to start the camera through JavaScript when the page loads. Set event to page load. Click the show node. For action, select execute JavaScript code. This code contains instructions for both, the front and rear device cameras. However, for this tutorial, we are using the front camera, and have disabled the code for the back camera. Both code snippets use the get user media method. To request the access to the video stream from the device's camera. Now add one more dynamic action to close the model page, when the cancel button is clicked.
set selection type to button. Button to cancel. In the show node, set action to cancel dialog. Same for event. Click the processing tab and add the following process under Ajax callback node. This process was referenced in the take snap dynamic action earlier. Set type to PL SQL code. The PL SQL code of this process uses the Apex Web Service API, which enables you to integrate other systems with Application Express. The Apex Web Service Club Base 64 to Blob is a function provided by the Apex Web Service package in the Oracle Application Express framework. It is used to convert a Base 64 encoded Club to a Blob. This function takes in one parameter as an input, which is the Base 64 encoded Club and returns the Blob. This function is useful when working with web services that return binary data, such as images or documents, encoded as Base 64 strings. After converting a CLOB data type into a BLOB, the BLOB is inserted in the snapshot Apex collection. A CLOB, character large object, is a data type used to store large amounts of character data in a database, while a BLOB, binary large object, is a data type used to store large amounts of binary data. Converting a CLOB to a BLOB typically involves converting the character data to binary data. This can be done for a variety of reasons such as to improve data storage efficiency, to improve data transfer performance, or to make the data more compatible with other systems or software. Add the following process, under the processing node, to get the captured image from the snapshot collection, and put it into the demo product info table. Add the following process to complete the image capturing process. This process which is to be placed after the save picture process, will close the model page after taking the snapshot. One last step that you need to perform is to automatically refresh the reports page, to display the pictures you take. Open the products page, page 3, in page designer to add the following dynamic action. Run the application on your laptop with a camera, or on your smartphone. Click the Snap Picture button. Your browser might ask you to allow access to your device's camera. After granting the access, the video should start playing on the model page. Enter something in the product name and file name text fields. Do not append extension to the file name, because a JPG extension will be added to it. By default the extension will be added by the save picture process. Take a picture by clicking the take snap button. The picture will be taken and you will be landed back on page 3, where you will see the picture added to the report. If you want to use the rear camera of your smartphone, then use the rear camera JavaScript code provided in the start camera JavaScript file. That's it for now, stay tuned to have more videos like this. Thank you for watching.